Don't bite it, boo, it's cold. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.20 a.m. and the cats have been having some playtime this morning with the new dragonfly toy. And I have to tell you, they are getting along so nicely. And here's Boo. The reason why I'm saying that is because Boo has been going crazy chasing the dragonfly around. And like he'll jump in the air and at one point he even landed on Simba. And Simba did not freak out. Like Boo landed on Simba and like Simba backed up and then Boo just went on playing. There was no fighting, there was no hissing, there was no screaming and arguing like there was in the past. And um, yeah, they've just been getting along. They're learning to play together so nicely, right Simba? And Boo will even take turns with the other cats. Like he doesn't get mad if the other cats play with like his toys now. And I have to try to keep this uh, the string away from Simba because he's the one that bit through the last one. So here's Simba. There's Splash. Here's Boo. Boo loves hunting on this crinkly thing. Splash just attacked the dragonfly. And there's Stella. And there's all the scratch and rolls. Boo says for breakfast today, he wants tiki cat sardines to celebrate his birthday because it has him on the can. Look, that cat looks a lot like Boo, doesn't it? Except Boo says... He wouldn't wear a flower in his hair like that. But Boo says he wants sardines. This is what the cats are having for breakfast. They're having sardines with a few crunchies on top and they're each getting a birthday candle. And Boo just kissed Splash. That was very nice. You guys missed it though. Okay guys, there you go. Happy birthday Stella, happy birthday Boo. You guys are five years old. And Splash, eat your food. He might do the thing where he does, look, he backs away. He wants to eat it like 10 feet away. Okay, guys. We're kind of just celebrating for multiple days, maybe all week. See? See, this is what Splash does. Sometimes with food that's not very familiar to him, he has to like eat it a few feet away. It's 11 a.m. and I'm sitting here on the sofa and I'm working on my laptop and Stella's been sitting here next to me. There's Stella. And all of a sudden, Boo walked in the room and he laid down right here, like right here. Here's Stella, here's Boo. And Stella was looking at him like, what are you doing, Boo? She did not totally trust him. But then she just turned around and started ignoring him like everything was fine. And he was laying there. And I was like, wow, this is really great. This is like a first. But I didn't have the camera with me. So I had to get up to go get the camera. And of course, when I get up to go get the camera, Boo followed me. But I just wanted to document this. So this is the first time this happened where Stella's laying on the couch. And Boo was like literally laying next to her. He was on the pillow. It's 8.42 p.m. right now and Hydrox is having some dinner. I gave him a can of the Deccan tuna. So I was able to go to Whole Foods today for the first time since March, since the beginning of March. Because throughout this whole situation, there's always been a line to get in. And if I see a line, I'm like, I'm not waiting on a line, I'll go somewhere else. And today, 
I was near there and I saw there was no line so I was like okay let me go in and I saw that they had the deckhand cat food 89 cents a can deckhand is tuna uh, so I picked up a bunch of cans for Hydrox because I know he likes tuna lately and that's his thing so I give him some today and he's enjoying that it's about 10 p.m. and I'm here with the cats and I have a popsicle I have a frozen squeeze up The cats have not had a popsicle since last summer, so they're going to split this one. I found it in the back of the freezer. It's been in the freezer since last summer. Okay, boo, good job. You guys are going to split it, okay? So you got to share it. Okay, boo, you got to share it. Okay, here you go, Simba. You share it with boo. Now it's your turn. Your turn, Simba. You lick it because it's cold. Don't bite it. Lick it. I have to get some more squeeze ups and put some in the freezer. Let's turn it over. Be careful, it's frozen. Okay, there you go, Stella. Stella has a very dreamy, far away look in her eyes. Okay, let's see if Splash will eat some. Let's see if Splash will eat some. Okay, back to Boo. Don't bite it, Boo. It's cold. Don't bite it. Just lick it. Okay. Okay, time to share. Don't bite it. Okay, you had enough.
Okay, let's see if Splash will have some. Let's see if we can give some to Splash. It's about 9.38 a.m. and I'm outside with Boo because Boo wanted to go outside, which is kind of crazy. So the back door, like the glass door, sometimes it doesn't shut all the way and like it's almost shut. You just have to pull it shut a little bit. And that's what happened this morning and I didn't realize that. So all of a sudden I hear like what sounded like a bang on the door and I look and Boo is inside, but he had tried to push the door open and he's not strong enough, but he is pretty strong because he was able to move it. It's, I mean, it's a heavy door for a cat. And uh, he was able to move it enough that when it like came back on him, like I heard it and I was like, what's going on, Boo? So then I walked up to him and I realized what was going on. So I opened the door like a little bit, like I opened it an inch so he could smell the air and he tried to push his way outside. And I was like, oh, no, no, you're not going out. So then he ran around the house and he ran to the top of the cat tower uh, because the window was open there. And I was like, okay, boo, well, you want to go outside? I'll put you in the stroller. So, so far he's been outside for maybe 10 minutes in the stroller and he's perfectly happy right now. Although he's up to mischief. Like I can tell when boo is up to mischief, he's up to mischief. So Hydrox was here this morning and Hydrox was eating and Hydrox was eating canned food. And um, I think, I think that kind of disturbed Boo. So he's, I think he's looking for Hydrox right now. Hello, Boo. So we just took a walk down the driveway and down to the road, but then we turned around and we came back because I don't have all day. I am on a schedule today. But Boo did want to come outside, so I'm giving him some outside air. Now Hydrox is hanging out in the driveway, like underneath my car. So Boo got to look at him for a while. And um, he didn't do anything and neither did Hydrox, which is good. They just kind of stared at each other. They just kind of stared at each other for a while. And I'm just about to bring Boo back inside. Come on, Boo. Boo, look how pretty you are. Look how handsome you are. It's a catio on wheels, Boo. That's what it is. It's a catio on wheels. It's about 10.30 a.m. right now, and I am going to do a little bit of an experiment. So the cats all got brushed last night, and I had to take the brush out again this morning to kind of lure Boo off of the cat tower and onto the bed so I could pick him up um, because I put him outside in the stroller for a while that made him very happy. And what happened was I left the brush here on the bed and then I just came back and Stella was laying right next to it. So I cleaned all of the hair out of this brush. There's no cat hair in this brush at all. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it on the bed. And I am then going to leave the house for a while, probably for several hours. And let's see what happens when I come back. When I come back, will there be any cat hair in the brush? Like will the cats have brushed themselves somehow? or will it be just as empty as it is now so here's a close-up you can see it's empty it's been cleaned out obviously the cats can't pick up a brush and brush each other but they can like rub themselves against it so i'm just curious this is a little experiment let's see what happens if i leave the brush on the bed uh for the next several hours when i come back will there be any cat hair in the brush it's 4 30 p.m i just got home Look at what's going on here. So Stella and Splash are laying next to each other on the bed and there's Simba. I don't know where Boo was. Boo just greeted me at the door. He might have been on top of that cat tower because that's where I left him. How you guys doing? Give me a pet. Give me a pet. My hands are a little wet. I just washed them. And here's the brush. It doesn't look like anyone brushed themselves, even though there's some hair on it. There's not hair in it, but there's like hair on it, and there's a bunch of hair around it. Hello, Simba. Did you have a nice day? Okay. You relax. 
Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.